Anat Nolman is here from Real Thing AI to tell us about Real Sam Pocket. What problem are we solving today? We're solving the problem of accessibility to communication for folks who would like to use smartphones but cannot easily use commercially available phones because it's too overwhelming for them. Okay, so maybe seniors, people with cognitive disabilities maybe? So um, our phone has been designed from ground up for people who are visually impaired. Um, and most of our users um, are seniors. So we're new to the U.S., but we have been selling real SAM Pocket for four years in the U.K. Okay, and I assume this is an Android phone? This is an Android form, uh, sorry, this is an Android phone with our software on it. So when the users interact with it, they don't see Android, they cannot escape to it, they just use our software. I see, so they can't accidentally get out and see the, the guts of a regular OS. They're, they're in real SAM. That's correct. And the reason we do that is because we have tap and talk functionality, which makes it very easy to operate. So all users have to do is tap on the screen, tell the device what they want it to do, and the phone will do it for them. All right, well, let's take a look here. So what are we looking at? Describe this. So this is a Samsung Galaxy device with our software on it. There's not much happening on the screen by design because this is a voice-operated phone. So the two important things that are here that you can do stuff with is the tap to talk button, which, which is, is like yeah, it's a lot of the a lot of the phone is this one button. Correct. It's it's it basically takes over the bottom 20% of the screen, and we made it large enough so people who are visually impaired can point at it, can tap on it very easily. And there is a menu on the top left corner which looks like hamburger, and if you put your finger on it. Um, you will have a kind of a large L on the screen which you can trace and it opens some settings and additional menus. Until you hear the item you want and then release. Everything that happens on the phone is, is by voice. So we are a voice dialogue company which means that the technology that powers it is not, it's, it's, it's complex on the background but it's very easy to use for users. Now what does that mean? It means that the users can have multiple things happening. So for example, they can be reading a book, listening to a podcast, making a phone call, and when they go back to their book or the podcast, it will start from where they stopped. They can also use natural language to ask the, the phone to do things for them. So it doesn't have to be an exact voice command. They have much more flexibility, which makes it more user friendly. Oh, oh, interesting. So, okay, I'm going to try to do it. So I'm going to tap on the uh, hamburger be my menu on the top, and now I've got this giant L to drag my finger. All right, I'm going to let go. And main menu, move your finger around the screen until you hear the item you want and then release. Okay, so I'm just going to drag my finger down the front of the screen. Call contact, call number, settings, user guide, sighted assistance, assi turn on assistance call, turn on outdoor locations. Okay. Oh, my outdoor locations are turned on now. That's good. <laughs> That's good. So I'm going to tap done to exit from the menu. And if you notice, when you were moving your finger, the, the phone told you what that item was. So for a person who cannot see, they still have access to information and then can figure out what functionality they want to tap on uh, with the device telling them what it is. And it told me that I needed to move my finger around on screen. I didn't have to know uh, how to use voiceover on an iPhone. I was able to just move around directly. It, now, I didn't see anything about like going to the web or email or anything like that. So we have, um, this is um, a closed system, which means our users get what they get and they cannot download any additional apps. The reason we do that is we want to make sure that we allow for this tap and talk functionality where users can tap on the screen and tell the device what they want it to do. Um, so they don't escape somewhere else and get lost and cannot come back. So with us, we have three uh, sets of functionality. And in fact, here we have um, three pillars. So we have communications, assistance, and entertainment. Under communications, it's the ability to make and receive phone calls, send and receive text messages, and ability to add contacts by voice, which is not available on other phones, and it's a big need in the market. Um, and adding a contact by voice is very, very easy. The second set of features is assistance, and we have two different types of tools or features or apps, for, for the matter of fact. So we have some informational ones with, with things like you can ask a uh, real SEM pocket to tell you where you are, so you can say, where am I? or what's around me, and it will tell you the businesses around here. 
Um, you can ask for things like what's the time in a particular city, what's the weather in a particular city, and there's few informational tools like that. I notice it also has access to Be My Eyes. This is a really cool service where blind people can go to Be My Eyes and basically sighted people see what the camera sees and helps them find things. That's correct. So we have four assistive technology features and Be My Eyes is one of them. We have direct integration with Be My Eyes. So you can tap on the phone and say Be My Eyes and it will open the app and you can get sighted assistance. In addition to Be My Eyes, we also have a video magnifier. We have what it's called OCR, which stands for Optical Character Recognition, which is ability to read text. So you can take a picture of text and we'll read it back to you. And our OCR is able to read handwriting, which is not very common. And a lot of especially seniors who still write letters and cards to each other really would like to read that. I like and it. One, one more thing on Be My Eyes. Sandy Foster actually got the call from Be My Eyes and was able to help somebody find something. It's the first time I've talked to somebody who actually got to do it. So then the last category, your pillar here is entertainment? Correct, entertainment. So we have access to four different book libraries. We have access to a variety of podcasts. We have um, access to a newspaper and many radio stations. So this is just to provide um, fulfilling entertainment for, uh, for our phone users. And you said that we could add uh, my shows to, uh, to Pocket Sam and, uh, or sorry, Real Sam Pocket. And uh, so you'd, you'd need a sighted user to help you do that? So actually, uh, once, uh, once you give me the link to your uh, the URL uh, to your RSS feed for your podcast, I'm going to ask our engineering team and they can do it in a day. So oh, I see. podcast but is very easily and they become available right away to all of our users. Okay, but how would a user get it if I'm just, I'm just uh, Sally wants to listen to the Nocilla cast? How, I don't have access to the engineers, do I? No, you don't need to get access to engineers. You will tap on the screen and you'll say the name of the podcast and you will be able to listen to it. It will give you the options to select whatever episode you would like to listen to. Then you would say episode number one, episode number two, tap on the screen and ready to listen. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, but you're going to put me in as one of the defaults. I love it. This is great. I will. Of course I will. <laughs> All right, this is very cool. Um, how would uh, somebody find the, uh, the Real Sam Pocket? The best way is to contact us through our website which is realsam.us and it's spelled R-E-A-L-S-A-M dot U-S. Um, on, the, on the website we have our phone numbers, our email addresses. Feel free to reach out and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. One, one last question. So does someone buy a regular phone and then add you, they add this to it or do you buy a phone with Real Sam on it? This is actually a phone. We sell it as a phone which is ready to go. All that users have to do is put a SIM card and by the way it's unlocked for any provider in the US so any SIM card would work. Uh, you would put your SIM card in it, the device will restart automatically and, and you're ready to go. And most of features on the phone could also be used with Wi-Fi, except calling and sending text messages, but everything else could be used with Wi-Fi. Very cool. Thank you very much, Anat. This is really interesting. Thank you for your time.